Hello guys on YouTube. Well, I hope you guys have a nice uh, nice Halloween, but I hope all you guys are okay because uh, apparently we are having a tornado uh, warning and washing and preparing for this tornado today. Well, not today, I don't know what it's going to I don't know when it's going to hit landfall yet, but I'm getting prepared for the worst. I have um, some options to uh, have some lighting. I have a couple of my flashlights. I have my big giant uh, motion flashlight and stuff like that. But right now what I was going to talk about was how to use a 12 volt battery to convert it from DC to AC with using a small converter, uh, inverter, or whatever you want to call it, a little thing. But well, let's turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. Well, here you see, here it is. Sorry guys, a little capstone, I mean that's... Here's a, uh, my inverter. It takes just a regular 12-volt, um, car, a car battery, and it turns it into DC. But the max of the device on this is only 10, uh, 10, uh, amps. That's how much this only draws. Uh, of course, I do have a fluorescent light to help to save some battery life on my flashlight. And now, well, here is my uh, female cigarette connector. And I'm going to show you how this all works. And of course, on the floor, you see my flashlight right here with a modification. Uh, me uncle did. Well, she does work. She has a great, powerful output of a light. But the problem is, is when I leave this light on all the time, this battery inside of this will die. And I, and yes, you notice I have it plugged in right now, and I'm going to unplug it to uh, show you how well this really does work. Well guys, I am preparing for the storm, and yes, I did unplug it, wait, unplug it, that's to keep the charge on the battery, nice and fully strong for, to charge the stuff I need, so far, here is my light source, of course, if this doesn't work, I always can use that light source up there, but I would have to take the Edison bulbs out. Well, this is what I made yesterday. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, do the conversion. First, you take your AC, or not AC, your uh, DC female um, plug, and you plug it into your um, battery, but the, if you don't, if you have a car battery, this will, this will work fine for you guys, too. But well, I don't have a car battery, but I have this, my flashlight. Now, I will take my, uh, inverter, uh, to DC to AC, like I said before. And I'm going to plug it in. Trying to plug it in here on the end. Well, you might hear a beep. And that's telling me the inverter is not on. Okay, guys. Now we're going to take my light. Typically, this is a typically only a AC only device. Well, to show you what I have, I did not modify anything or anything 
like that, guys. Well, I'm now plugging it in just to make sure it has full contact inside. Well, of course, this is my orange cable. This is what I had left over for my orange projects I was doing. Well, to show you, taking a a a and uh, for us in light. And plugging it in. Oh, I mean, you know, screwing it. And well, it does work just fine. Well, you see, that's kind of neat. Now, the only problem with uh, doing this this way is if you have one of these. So you don't have any thrust involved, and you only have a Edison 60 watt light bulb, guys. Well, I'll show you what will happen when you screw in a Edison light bulb and so one of these Chinese-made fluorescent tubes. Well, like I said, this is going to pull a little bit more uh, wattage out of the battery, and you are going to kill some beeping if I plug when I turn flip this on. Now watch when I turn it on. It, uh, turn on. Get spiral. And there is so far no beeps. But oh mind. Starting to beep now guys. Well the reason why it does that is this is a 60 watt light bulb and it's uh, putting more load on the gavotal and also on the and also on the battery itself now the reason why it has I um, the reason why it beeps like that guys is to allow you to know if you're using too much wattage for the unit can only handle 10 watts. Now, remember one thing. This is 11 watts. That's 10 watts. You have a bit, uh, approximately about 12 watts being pulled from that unit to this unit. Like I said, this is a conversion from a 12 volt battery to a DC uh, current socket into AC with the gavotal to power this AC um, plug or lamp. Now I do have OSA plugs too. I also made uh, plugs as well just like this but well <coughs> Like I said, this unit's a very small unit. It only draws about 10 amps. And if you go over the 10 amps, she uh, will kick off and she goes beep really loud. And that tells you you're pulling way too much amperage for the whole uh, little device itself can only handle. Now, a typically this little inverter is a typically a car inverter you can give out your your DC to AC for your laptop that's the reason why I have bought this unit for a laptop conversion for a car but now I am going to use it for not just a not just for a car in case if the power goes out in my house like it had done before when I was doing a video but like I said this does work I mean all you do is gotta pull the little string thing eh kind of clicks you can see it now works just fine well I hope you guys had um well there this one hand is kind of a can't <laughs> hold on guys there this with my own hand, it's kind of annoying. Alright, there we go. Couldn't get it. 
Well, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, I hope you guys are on the East Coast, or, or not the East Coast, but the West Coast. <coughs> I guess. I hope you guys are. I hope you guys are safe, and I and I'm, I and I hope I can help you out with your um um power kind of need to what you need to power you may your cell phone, your camera, your batteries, or maybe even a telly if you want it. Uh, you know, a television to get some type of podcast going on. But, well, of course, this guy was not designed for a television. It would work, but it would pull it would pull way too much power. Well, of course, from Mr. Government, it switched everything to digital. We also have an old analog uh, device as well, but we can't use, can't use it. Well, this is my little setup for case if the power does uh, the power does go out, but I hope to God it doesn't. But if it does, I am prepared with my little setup. And yes, I don't even know how long this cord is actually, but it's pretty long. Now, well, I'm going to talk about the design. Let's not waste my battery. On my um, flashlight, though. Well, I'm gonna try to conserve my battery um, as well. Well, let's talk about this design I have uh, made. Roughly, what it is, it's just a standard. Uh, all, all this is is a standard wall-mounted light. Well, what I had done, instead of it being hardwired into a, with hardwire into the electrical panel, well, I decided to take my own step ahead and make a, uh, make a light source. Now, of course, I have made a lamps, I have made plugs, and this is actually one of the first ones I made. Out of one of these wall adapters. Now, of course, it's just a metal. It's like just a standard metal box. Well, one flaw I had is the screw. It's typically not to the bottom. It's typically to the top. But well, I had to rig that up for the ground to ground the box. Now. One thing I'm going to add on, and I think it's funny. Uh, on a, oh, what I'm going to apply add on to this is a plug. Maybe eventually. Well, I'll keep you updated on this little guy if I do decide to add uh, a plug to it and stuff like that. Well, and this uh, cable is only a 14 gauge wire. Well, a while I was never going to use, I was going to use this antenna, but I decided to make my little, little, um, little, um, uh, light hill. But I might be, I might add on a, uh, female extension plug. Maybe that's a, a extension cord plug in. And make a extension plug or something. Instead of me having the um, instead of having me to have the plug uh, directly tied into this, I can just have a a a female plug. Like just extension, like you know, like extension. But this with a fe with just the female plug on it. Well, I'll keep you updated on that, guys. Like I said, this is a very good um, setup for me, definitely for if the power does go out, if I am prepared for the storm, I'm prepared for the worst, like I said. This is going to help my needs, this might help your needs, like I said, it's up to you guys. Well, I will show you again how it works. Well, I'm going to put 
Mr. Invert right now, of course, it beeps when the nurse gets plugged in. That's the design of the way it's designed. Well, I'm going to plug my plug in one handed and take my inverter or uh, my energy saving light bulb. It's not really energy saving, it's more of a rip off for you to try to save energy, guys. Well, this will help if my if my power does go. Well, you see, there's light on and the light is off. Now, a typically, like I said, a typically a AC device like this typically does not work on a battery. But like I said, you need a gavotal to gavote the DC. Or uh, the DC to AC um, conversion. Now, <clears throat> that's what this little unit comes in handy for. Now, well, like I said, it's only 10 watts. Well, there you go, guys. You saw me fiddle around with this and da 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 whatnot. Well, it works for my needs. But, alright, let's turn the camera back around here. Well,. I hope you guys are okay on the uh, west coast of the United States, I guess. Well, I bet you guys probably have a generator and stuff like that, but I don't have a generator. with the too, too expensive for me. Well, this is kind of like a generator, but it's not really a generator. It doesn't make, uh, doesn't make plumbing smoke or anything like that. Alright uh, guys, I hope this video was interesting enough for you. Subscribe, leave comments below, and please share my video on this uh, setup if you want to do this. I will send you the links in the polls how to get this. Alright uh, guys, peace out. Bye guys.